Meet Ira, one of the most detailed digital models of the human face ever created. We first introduced Ira a few months ago at the GPU Technology Conference. Computer graphics have amazed people for years, but they've fallen short in one thing that's most important to telling a good story, the human face. Not only does Ira look real, but this is all generated in real time. His skin has bumps and blemishes that move and stretch as Ira blinks and grimaces. Those imperfections make Ira far more real than the fake, rubbery faces generated by previous generations of graphics technology. Ira has always been shown using a GeForce Titan graphics card, the highest performing single chip GeForce ever. While Kepler is the world's most efficient GPU architecture, this demo was intense. Running at a full HD resolution and using a full Kepler, 7 billion transistors, more than 250 watts. Today we have something special to show you. Ira is now mobile. This is our reference tablet platform running our next-gen mobile system on chip, Project Logan. Embedded in Project Logan is the first mobile Kepler GPU. Kepler is the first GPU architecture designed to scale from supercomputers all the way down to mobile devices. Unlike the 250 watt demo on Titan, this demo is running in a mobile power profile between two to three watts. And even more amazing, the first Logan Silicon came back from the fab only a couple weeks ago. This is demonstrating a lot of performance, power, and stability in a very short period of time. So let's talk about what this means for the future. Having a Kepler core at the heart of Logan means we have both the programmability and performance to do high-end character rendering. This means game developers can develop awesome graphics for desktop and more easily bring those capabilities to mobile. So what's similar and different between Ira on Titan and Ira on mobile Kepler? First, recognize it's not the full performance of the highest-end GeForce card, but there's enough oomph here to make careful quality performance trade-offs and produce a very convincing result. In fact, most things are the same. Full HDR lighting, FXAA anti-aliasing, bloom, tone mapping, auto exposure, same environment, moving light, and same deep tissue scattering. Notice the light filtering through the ears. There is absolutely no cut down in subsurface scattering. Now let's turn off subsurface scattering. Notice the skin has become chalk-like and crunchy. Light refracting through the layers of skin is one of the key things that makes Ira look real. So what's different? The Titan version has an uber skin shader that uses several passes and several render targets to get the most realistic looking skin. On Logan, each shader has been simplified to use a single pass, smaller textures, and fewer render targets. This all comes at a slight reduction in quality, but much faster performance. The resolution is also different. On Logan, Ira looks great rendered at HD. On Titan, Ira can be rendered up to 4K. But Ira is also sporting new things from his original introduction. The light refracts more realistically in the pupil. We've also added additional tear duct layers around the eyes, a nice blend between skin and eyeball so it looks much more realistic. So that's Mobile Ira, awesome graphics capabilities that brings a new wave of content to mobile devices.